love to read. It's one of my absolute favorite things. So I'm really excited to announce our next City Line Book Club pick. It is Recipe for a Perfect Wife by Carla Brown. Book. It's a captivating dual narrative novel. A modern day woman finds inspiration in hidden notes left by her home's previous owner, a quintessential 1950s housewife. So we have author Karma Brown with me right now. game for a while but I just find like every book is like just better than the last Thank one you. which is incredible and you're getting amazing buzz for this book New York Times the New York Times did a review yes. you're on best books for 2020 I'm seeing you popping up all over Twitter and Google so like <laughs> congrats to you thank you it's amazing yeah, it's been great I have a special place in my heart for can lit like Canadian authors I want them to go all the way Me especially too. right so, yes. yes yes let's please yes. go all the way with our Canadian authors I agree um I love I love that each chapter in this book, you've got a quote at the top. And it's a quote that you took from, I hope, very, very <laughs> old books because they are enraging. They are. They're all about the ways in which women need to placate their men. And I'll give you an example of one. Don't expect your husband to make you happy. Do your best to make him happy and you will find happiness. <laughs> <laughs> so these are real quotes. They are. Where'd you find them? I found them in a variety of places. Some of them were in magazine articles that came out in the 50s. Yeah. Other ones are from books that were sort of advice and tips for wives in particular. I have a book called Don'ts for Wives. Don'ts for Wives. And it wives. is a whole, it's tiny, but it's all things you should not do if you're a wife. Yeah. Like, don't worry, you, you need to look beautiful. Yes. You know, don't worry about him being sloppy. He, it's okay if he's sloppy as long as you are not. So it's just all the things you should not do as a wife. And it's pretty really it, amazing how far it, we've come. Yeah, it, well, in some ways, in you some know, ways. there were some cases where I thought, oh, we've come a long ways, but really are we as far as we have thought? So that comes up in the book mm -hmm. because you've got, you know, 1950s Nellie and you've got 2018's Alice and they're you know, their lives sort of intersect in a way because they, Alice ends up living in Nellie's old house. Why was it important for you to hear from both of these characters? It's, they're, they're both narrators. They are, and I, what I really wanted to do was explore the differences between women and wives and society within a marriage in the 1950s and in the present day, to really just look and see. Like for myself, it was an interesting conversation to explore about yeah. how far we've come. Have we come as far as we think we have? Mm -hmm. And so it, within my own marriage, too, it was really interesting to look at that. Yeah, were you getting yeah. mad at your husband sometimes for no good reason? He's a good husband. Oh, he good. is, yeah. Good. Okay, we're keeping him. We're keeping him, yeah. yes. <laughs> Very good. Um, recipes. There's a ton of them in this book, and we're actually going to um, maybe work on making one um, on the show. But I want to know, just in your own personal life, are you a good cook? Like, do you I, like it? I do. You I liked do. it more Good. before I was a mom because yeah. now I'm a short order cook. So it was different yeah. before. But I love to bake. Baking is my. I procrastinate break, bake. It's my oh, good. procrastination strategy, so I really like to bake. Oh, good, because I'm yeah. going to invite you to make a recipe with me. But uh, before we <laughs> no get to that, read this great book along with us and join us for the discussion. Head to our City Line Book Club Facebook group or take part in the conversation on Twitter and Instagram with the hashtags Read More and City Line Lit. And don't miss our Facebook Live chat that's happening on Wednesday, March 11th at 10 a.m. We're going to dish with our panel. You're going to come back. Yes. Right? And we're going to do this live. And we want everyone to read along with us.